always, I can't imagine a time when that won't be polished and, and perfect. But the truth is, is most small business owners are not looking for that kind of promotion anyway, can't afford it, aren't looking for that, right? They're looking to do something that is true uh, and authentic for their business. So when I scroll through Facebook now, right, if I'm scrolling through my feed and I see um, an incredibly well done video that's you know, they've got new angles, they've got B-roll film going in. I usually just scroll by those because I know it's an advertisement and it's probably for something that I don't really want, right? Whereas when I scroll through and I come across, you know, a video of somebody talking or a picture, just a normal picture that somebody took on their iPhone, and in fact it is a promotion because it says, you know, sponsored at the top. I don't mind at all. In fact, those are the ones that I typically click through as opposed to the really well scripted. So going back to your question, I think the trends are showing that uh, using our authentic voice, whether it's in video, whether it's in how we write our posts or um, our advertisements, I think that's really being responded to very well. Um, and I think for somebody who has a small business and has very little money uh, to, to put towards marketing, all they need is their phone, right? Except unless it's a flip phone, right? Which might not work out so well for them. My husband actually has one. We call him analog man. But so long as you have a phone, and you are on the various social media platforms, this is your marketing budget. This can be the extent of your marketing budget, right? So whatever you're paying to, for your, um, for your, uh, you know, your package, your phone, AT&T or Verizon or whomever it is, and the cost of the phone, that in effect could be the cost of your marketing uh, for your business. Now, we both know that there's more costs involved, right? Uh, websites, hosting, all of that. Uh, but for very little money now, I think people are able to promote their businesses and in a really authentic way, which I think is one of the greatest things to have happened over the past few years. And I tie that in directly uh, with live streaming video between uh, platforms like Periscope and the, the former Blab uh, platform and now Facebook Live, people are having real conversations with their clients, their customers, their guests, whatever it is. So having real conversations in real time. And I think that's shifting the way business is done all the way around. Yeah, I couldn't agree. And I think a lot of ways, too, I, I see, I, you know, I call uh, someone who mentioned, like, we, like, we are like we're the media in, a, in some sense because of social media and things along those lines. So in some ways, we can, we are in a sense we're covering the social. Well, like people, like I see people all around, like whenever like there were like some uh, last, like you know like at the discovery meeting when there was some stuff going on, they recorded on their phones and they were showing showcases it to their friends and everything. And so in some ways. So indirectly in the media, even though they're not officially recognized as media. So. You know, I think you're right. It's not officially recognized as, but what I would propose, what I would say is that although it's not officially recognized as media, I think what we are seeing is that we're relying more on the people that we know that is not official media, more so than official media, on a lot of things. And I, it's not a political discussion, it's just literally, I think what's occurring is um, social media is making it possible for small businesses to have a media-like presence. And that's amazing. Yeah, definitely. So, so basically, how can, um, I mean, it, it's, I kind of see the trends too that, uh, you know, like also for me, it's like, like for example, like for like you know, the dinner week, you know, you know, I still see how the network has trend has a uh, has topics on like what trend on social media, how many times they're you know, the suitable hashtag will be mentioned and uh, all that stuff there. So yeah, then it has, it has really changed how this you know, this any major event has a as a 
has you know has made a the Super Bowl has made like major sporting event very very big even more. So the question is how like how can uh how can people use social media responsibly yeah. during the Super Bowl and not be like all bashed per se to the point of where it gets out of control. Um, are you speaking about using it during the Super Bowl? It could be during the Super Bowl, even before the Super Bowl, or after the Super Bowl. To use it responsibly. Gosh, Cheval, that's a great question. I don't know. I mean, you know, clearly, uh, and I think this is a universal truth about um, social media is that it, it's going no matter what you do on it it's going to follow you yes there's way to delete things but it never really goes away and so i think that the very core of this is if you are on social media and you have a small business right and you're you're um tweeting or instagramming or hashtagging anything about the super bowl and it's not uh complementary to your brand as a business you need to be careful. I mean, you, I think responsibility there to your who you are as a business person on social media is important. Some people have Facebook personal pages and they completely separate out their business from it by having a business page, which I think is a great practice because you can be who you are in the world, you know, as an individual on your personal page. But once you start talking about your business, you've really got to separate things that, um, might not be responsible, right? So let's use my husband as an example who is not on social media at all, right? But let's say he was, right? He is a very high level executive, right? If he got on social media and started tweeting out the things that he actually says during a game, his business could probably disappear overnight, right? So, um, 